Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first ever Let's Play uh, of one of my favorite all-time games. You're about to see it for the first time right now. What could it be? I'm sure some of you out there already recognize it, I hope. That's The Flintstones, The Treasure of Sierra Mad Rock, starring Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble. What makes this game so amazing to me? You're going to find out very, very shortly. There's two major things that I just loved as soon as I first turned on this game. Let's get this underway. I'm going to press start. I'm going to press start again. And here's the first thing I absolu absolutely love of, of a lot of old Super Nintendo games that did this. Is the cinematics. At the beginning of the game, and this game also has it in between each level. So, hey Barney, why all the hubbub? Gee, Fred, haven't you heard? Heard about what? There's a rumor, there's no you in that rumor, there's a rumor going around, I'm Canadian, that the Grand Poobah's going to retire. I wish the text was a tad faster, but other than that, I love this. Then this could be our big break, Barney my boy. Or however he says it. You're going to run for Grand Poobah? I love the guy in the far left, he's like stroking his beard thinking, hmm, maybe I'll run for Grand Poobah. Can you think of anyone more qualified? Gee, Fred. I'd be happy to help you out. <laughs> this is what I love about Barney, Barney's character, too, is he's more concerned about helping his friend than becoming Grand Pooba himself. Yay! It's the Grand Pooba! You can tell because he's got the pee around his neck. Pee around his neck. Yuck. My fellow water buffaloes, I've called you all here tonight for an important reason. thought it would be an announcement, but they ran out of room. It has been my great honor... <laughs> with no you again, to serve as your Grand Pooba for 15 years. But the time has finally come for me <laughs> to retire. What? No, say it ain't so. Say it's not so, Pooba, my boy. I'm just adding stuff now. And now you get the beat. Therefore, a new Pooba must be chosen, but... There are so many worthy candidates, and only one, I'm assuming, yeah? One person can be Grand Pooba, or just Pooba. Thus, I have come up with a way to find my successor. And here comes the storyline of this entire game. This is the legendary treasure of Sierra Madrock. The one who finds the treasure will take my place as Grand Pooba of the what, Loyal Order of the Water Buffalo. Yes. This is so very cool. We're nearing the end of the cinematography, as I'm going to call it. I don't know what the actual term is. What do you say, Brother Rubble? Old pal? I'm with you, brother Flintstone. Let's go for it. Or rather, let's go for it. Wow, that old guy moves fast. And away we go. Anyone get the license number of that truck, I think it is? Yeah. Now, I haven't played through this game in years. I uh, recently got it off of eBay, which is why I'm celebrating this uh, game. Let's play. Snap out of it, Barney. There's no time to lose. This is my big chance. Come on, let's get out of here. Nice little sound effect there. Enjoy. And now the second thing, the second reason why I absolutely adore this game. You're looking at this thinking, what the hell? You can't move up. You can't move left, down, right. You can't do anything right now. You gotta roll the dice. The die. I almost said dice. That would've been terrible because there's only one of them. Roll the one. You can either roll a one or two or a three. So you're going to move to the left onto that rock and boom, level. And this is how the entire game is played on a mini board game. And it's awesome. Get some little stars there. You can climb the tree. What you doing, Fred? What you doing? Nice little sound effect there too. I oh, I know there's uh, what is coming here? Oh, maybe nothing. Okay. Could have swore there was something coming. Oh, I hear something. Oh, it's a giant armadillo thing. Now here comes the logs to jump on to cross the level. I know there's something down there too. Can't remember what it is. Let's try it out. Boom. Ooh, a free life and the gray heart is uh, 
it allows you to get more health or extra health. If you look in the top left hand corner, you're gonna see four hearts. That's how much health Fred has. Oh no! God greedy, I went too quick. So while I failed on that first level, you get to see what dying is like. Because a lot of people in Let's Plays are really good and never die, and that's sad. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the X button right now. And I'm going to show you the world. Bunch of water. Bunch of water. But let's go to the important thing. Here is the path that we're going to follow. So here's a bunch of levels. The heart is not really much of a level. It's just a, an opportunity. It's almost like a bonus level where you get an opportunity to get a whole lot, lot of awesome items and, and uh, things like that. Here's the park. There's various parks. There's one up there, one up there, one down here that allow you to play games to get more clams, and clams are the currency of this game. These little uh, skulls, I don't, I don't really know, uh, are mini bosses. You don't have to land on them if you want, but if you notice here, you have to go like a long way across the board game while this is almost like a shortcut. Uh, the mini bosses aren't terribly difficult, but you know, whatever. Betty and Wilma are walking the course as well. You don't play as them. Betty will try to to stop Barney from, uh, you know, lounging around. She will drag him around the board, as will Wilma be dragging Fred. If they get a hold of you, yeah, you're gonna lose a lot of, uh, you know, they can, they'll, they'll just drag you along the board. There's another way to play it. put it. What we need to do is get to this guy who's also running for Grand Hooba, because he has something that we need. Because right now, we don't know where we're going. We don't have a clue. You're gonna notice now I'm controlling Barney Rubble. This is the third thing that I absolutely adore about this game. Is that two players can play, but uh, even if it's just the one person, you have to control both characters. You are gonna control both characters around the board. So you can take two different ways about it. You wanna to try to avoid Betty and Wilma? You want to, I'm gonna to try to kill this little armadillo thing. Cause it gives you a bunch of clams, missed it. Dang it. I could have swore it was only two to kill it, but clearly I uh, remembered incorrectly. Not gonna risk it, yes I am, because those items are so useful. Love getting that fourth heart, that's the biggest thing. Uh, four hearts in this. Uh, trying to talk and focus on the logs at the same time. Come on, come on Barney, please don't fall to your death. Excellent, all right. Every time you beat an enemy, you get at least one clam. And as I said, it's the currency of the game. Yeah, yeah, flying. Oh, there's a shark that's trying to kill me. There's the piranha thing. Come on, come on. Okay. Now you want to time this perfectly. I timed it incorrectly there. So what I got is a 36 seconds left in the level. Gives me a six. Now you're playing tic-tac-toe. Every time you make a line, you are going to be gaining bonus lives. There's a specific way you want to do it though. Um, what I like to do is get all the areas around first and then get the five, so. We're going to the park, don't have any clams, can't play, no games. Welcome, welcome! I'll skip the text now because, well, can't play. Now which way should I go with Fred? Which way should I go with Barney? Fred is the one doing all the work right now. I think this is the cow level. This is my sister's favorite level. She is in love with cows. Yikes! Now you can kill these cows. I assume. I can't remember. Uh, but it's better just to jump over them. Because I mean, I don't think you get clamps from them anyway. If you do, somebody leave a comment tell me I'm an idiot. You'd probably tell me I'm gay too, because that's what commenters like to do. Ooh, that was bad. All right, I got two clams from that giant bird-like thing. And okay, we got a six. So now I will get a four. Yeah, we'll do four. We'll do four. Da -da -da -da. All right. Now I'm gonna show you the bonus level. And that'll be it for the uh, intro video to this game. Clams. I don't really care about the stars to be honest. Ah, I ran out of time! Alright. 
And whenever you uh, end in a zero, you just get the uh, the fruit piece, which allows you to regain one heart of health. So what we're doing right now, um, we're just making our way through the board game. We're going to continue this uh, in another video. There's everything. The cafe, forgot to mention, allows you to get drinks that, uh, you know, give you more health and stuff. But anyway, for now, um, that is the intro video to uh, Sierra Madrock, the treasure of Sierra Madrock, the Flintstones. And we're going to beat this game together. If you're playing this game with me to actually make it a let's play, which I would appreciate, uh, throw a video up, video response, leave comments, whatever. The important thing is this is uh, episode one of Sierra Madrock. <laughs>